Some people strangely assume that fruit, and anything connected with it, can do nothing but good for you and your body. In this video, I'm going to show you two different blood sugar tests I did on myself. One involved Coca-Cola, which is a drink most diabetics know is not good for them. And then I'll drink the same amount of grape juice, a drink which many people naively suppose can do them no harm. Which will raise my blood sugar higher? There are some things for diabetics that are just simply obvious. When you find out that you have a problem with processing carbs and sugars, you say to yourself, all right, I better go easy on desserts and I better go easy on soda. Although not every diabetic does. Some just ignore it all and think it'll go away or it won't bother them. It will. But a lot of people assume that grape juice and fruit juices are a whole different creature. After all, they come from fruit. So does that nasty concoction that somebody came up with and they dumped some caramel and some sugar and some caffeine together and they made this terrible drink. But fruit juice is sweet and natural and wonderful and full of vitamins and nutrients and you can just drink it to your heart's content. Well, that's not quite the way it is. We're going to do a test. Now, I'm not sure how it'll go. I know one thing, both of these, the grape juice, Welch's grape juice and the Coke, good old American Coca-Cola, are both going to raise my blood sugar significantly. As to which one will raise it the most, I don't know. Now, they may be very close. I expect they will be. But for today, I'm going to drink 12 ounces of Coca-Cola. And we'll test my, I'll test myself about 30 minutes afterwards and then one hour. Just I'm just curious. I can't wait an hour. I want to go 30 minutes. And uh, then we'll test one hour after I get done. I have to admit it tastes great. <laughs> I, I haven't had a Coke in, I can't remember, I suppose years, but uh, it does taste great. But you know, there's other things to life besides just taste and you can find some drinks that will taste pretty good uh, that don't do such a serious number on your blood sugar. Well, my alarm has just informed me that it has been an hour. I tested it at 30 minutes, but I'm not going to tell you what that was until first I check it at the one hour level. Before all of this, it was at 99 at the last time I checked my blood sugar. That wasn't immediately before the test, but I had had so little food that 99 was probably uh, a very good base level for where I started. So right now we're going to test and find out what 12 ounces of Coca-Cola did to my blood sugar starting at 99. Let's see where it went. Well, it has gone down since the 30 minute mark. It was at 149, so about a 50 point rise after a half an hour. But my pancreas has kicked in and dumped out some insulin to deal with it, so thankfully it's actually lower now, 139. It could be a lot worse, but keep this in mind. A lot of people don't just drink a Coke. When they have a meal, they might have a hamburger, and you've got two half buns, a top and a bottom. Then they would, might have some French fries, and that's going to have a lot of carbs to the fries, and then they have a Coke. So by the time you take the Coke's 40 grams of carbs, the buns 30 some grams of carbs, and the French fries carbs as well, and you jam it all together, you're up to 80, 85, 90. A Coke by itself raised my blood sugar 50 points. Suppose I had a Coke and fries. Suppose I had a Coke, a hamburger and fries. It would have gone a lot higher still. So there's really no compromise with regular soda. If you say, I don't want to touch the diet stuff, I'm afraid of artificial sweeteners, then basically just give up on soda altogether. There's plenty of other drinks, there's water. Uh, there's low-carb milk and so forth. But no diabetic, no pre-diabetic, ought to be drinking regular sodas, except in a case like mine here where I'm trying to prove a point. But I certainly won't do it regularly. Well, stay tuned. We're going to come back another day, and this time we'll try the Welch's grape juice. Now, if my guess is right, there won't be much difference because they both have about an equal number of carbs. In fact, 
the grape juice has slightly more. But I've had 12 ounces of Coke. On the next go around, we'll try 12 ounces of grape juice and see what it does. So see you soon. Well, it's a day later. Uh, yesterday, I drank 12 ounces of Coca-Cola and it raised my blood sugar about 50 points. Uh, there was good news and bad news uh, for that experiment for me. The, the bad news was it raised it 50 points. It shouldn't raise it that much. And those radical ups and downs are not healthy for your body. The good news was the 50 points was at 30 minutes. By an hour, it had already come down 10 points. So my pancreas was obviously working and kicking in insulin and doing its best to try to keep up. Now, I call that pancreas abuse when you push your pancreas that hard, and I don't do it much, but for your sake, we did it this time. We're going to do one more example, and in this case, we're going to use this Welch's grape juice. The, uh, the grape juice is about an equal amount of carbs. Actually, it's slightly higher than the soda. And so, theoretically, it should raise my blood sugar just about as high. One thing you have to be aware of is that is that these uh, measuring devices, these blood sugar meters aren't perfect. And so sometimes they can be off. You have to almost give yourself a plus or minus eight points or so. So it's not a perfectly scientific experiment, but it does give you a pretty good idea. So 12 ounces of soda yesterday. Today, 12 ounces of grape juice. Well, I just got the results and uh, they are big. In fact, in both cases, the 30 minute test and the one hour test, Welch's raised my blood sugar higher than the Coca-Cola did. At the 30 minute mark, my blood sugar went from 103 to 196. That's a 93 point rise in a half an hour. Ridiculous. Now by an hour, it had started to go back down. It's now at 173. So that's a little better, but that's still way, way, way too high. What does this mean? Well, it doesn't give you a free pass to drink Coke, if that's what you're hoping, because the Coke raised it too much as well, 50 points in 30 minutes. But the Welch's did worse. I mentioned that Welch's has more carbs, but not all that much more. I'm not sure why Welch's did uh, so much worse for me than the Coke did. There is something incredibly ironic about this product. The company touts it as the healthiest thing you could possibly drink. On their label, they proudly declare that it is 100% juice. They boast of how there's no sugar added, and they pompously announce that you get two servings of fruit in your glass as you guzzle this sugar-laden, blood sugar-raising juice. In truth, there was no need for them to add sugar. They have concentrated this product to such a degree that it is overloaded with natural sugar and gullible Americans and even diabetics drink it, naively assuming that they're doing their body a favor. A while back, I posted a video with a similar experiment where I tested my blood sugar after eating two bananas and then two chocolate bars. You wouldn't believe how some people missed the whole point of that test. I was accused of working for the candy company and trying to promote candy bars over bananas. Some people thought I was a monster in saying anything negative about their beloved bananas. But I wasn't trying to promote candy bars over bananas. I was trying to make a point that both of them should be mostly avoided by diabetics. No, I don't work for some chocolate company, nor do I work for Coca-Cola. Apart from perhaps another YouTube experiment somewhere down the line, I don't plan to ever drink either one of these the rest of my life. I did these tests to demonstrate that if fruit can be problematic, fruit juice is an absolute nightmare for diabetics. And that goes for any fruit juice of any brand. Apple juice, mango juice, pineapple juice, orange juice, you name it. Much of the fiber has been removed from these juices and they're crammed full of sugar and they will raise your blood sugar usually every bit as high as any soda. Sure, you might get a few more vitamins, but what a price you'll pay. So that's it. I know I'll get some hate comments from this, but that's okay. Haters gotta hate. But if you did get something out of this video, give it a thumbs up. That way YouTube will rank it higher in their search engine and more people will be able to see it. And consider subscribing to our Beat Diabetes channel and then click on the little bell icon so you'll be notified every time we post a new video. God bless and see you again soon.